Hi guys, it's Pete from MyJewelryBench.com. Today what we're going to do is take multiple objects, two pieces in this point. Um, we're going to join them together, remesh them, and I'm going to show you how to form them around a ring shank to make this cool little pattern that uh, you can use as a band. This would be like an eternity band. I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. I hope you like them both. If, uh, if you do, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing, and let's get started. Okay guys, so let's get started with this. So first thing we want to do is we want to we want to take two objects that you've created. Either, you know, in this case I'm going to use some heads, so I'm going to use this particular round head here and I will select this particular one right here. I'm going to hit a pen to bring that in from my library. I'm going to come over to 7 and we're going to rotate this just because I didn't rotate it right the first time and get that right about there. Now I want to grab in another model, so I'm going to select this one here, which is my square head or illusion set head. We'll bring that in, and I'll grab it, size it up. I'm going to bring this over. Let's make sure it's about the same size as our round one, and I'm going to bring this over to here. Now from the side, we need to make this one a little bit thicker, so I'm going to hit S and then Z. Oops. S and Z and we're gonna make that one a little taller so it's about as tall as the other one right about like that so now these two are basically the perimeter of what I want so this is the pattern that I'm going to use to go around my ring so let's add in the ring I'm gonna hit curve shift a to add in a model I'm gonna go down to circle and add that in and under my circle I'm gonna rotate that RX 90 so it's straight up and then under my items tab, I'm going to make this uh, 17 millimeters by 17 millimeters. And I'm going to grab these two pieces here and I'm going to size those down. So about like so. Now, I'm thinking I want a 3 millimeter diamond. Let's make this a, a 1.8 millimeter diamond just so we can model that. So I'm going to come over to Jewelcraft. I'm going to add in a 1.8 eight millimeter diamond round and then hit OK. So it adds in our diamond. If we look at it from the top, we can see that uh, our, our heads are just a little bit too big. So I'm going to take these two, I'm going to size those down until our diamond fits about like so. And let's just bring that in about like that. OK. So that's the look I'm going for. Make those a little bit bigger, just because I can. All right, about like so. Okay, so that's the look I'm going for. Let's get rid of this diamond. We don't need it anymore. And this is the pattern I'm going to follow. So how do I make this pattern follow the shape of the curve? Well, it's pretty easy. First thing I want to do is check my model and make sure that there is enough on the model and it's remeshed so that it will bend and curve, which this one will. And let Let's go back into object mode and check out the round one. Well, the round one uh, needs some loop cuts. I'm going to remesh that real quick. So while I've got that here, let's just hit the tab key. I'm going to come over to, and I'm going to remesh this object. And I'm going to jump this up to sharp. And then I'm going to bring this up to seven. Let's go eight just to make it happy. And then I will hit apply. And now if I go into look at this, you can see I've got a nice remeshed model. I'm going to do the same for my square head just because I want to make sure that's meshed as well. Sharp, bring that up to 8. I'm going to hit apply. And then we're going to edit mode, check that one out. Perfect. Okay, so now those two work good just like they are. And I can actually join them if I want. Um, either by union or with the control J. So I'm going to start with the control J. I hit shift and select that object here and then press control J to join those two objects as one. Now I'm going to hit uh, set origin to center of mass. I'm going to hit shift S and I'm going to put that right in the middle. Selection to cursor. Okay. There we go. Now I want to take this model these two heads in the pattern and just rotate them around this curve. So it's pretty simple. I can apply a curve modifier to my object. So it's very simple. I'll select that and I can come over to 
curve. And now I can say uh, select our Bezier curve. And now you can see the heads have matched the curve. Now what else do I need to do? Well, we want multiple heads all the way around. So how do we do that? We're going to add in a new modifier. So hit Add Modifier, and then let's hit Array. And you can see it doesn't quite encompass the curve. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the Array modifier. We're going to move that up above the curve modifier. And now you can see our pattern is matched all the way around. But if we look closely, this circle is not in tight enough against the square one. So we'll use the offset factor here along the x-axis. I'm just going to bring that down just a little bit. Let's make that uh, 0.95. And that looks pretty good. So with that done, I can hit how many more I want all the way around my model. So I'll just increase the count until I get just about all the way around. So I have 14 pieces all the way around, and they actually all blend really well together. I don't have to make any more changes to this. So now if I look at this from the side, I can see that it's just not quite thick enough. And I want to make this a little bit thicker. So I'm going to grab my object here. I'm going to go into edit mode, and it'll pull out the first joint here. And I'm going to hit A for all. And I'm going to hit SZ, and I'm going to make that just a little bit thicker. Now you can see it's making my prongs a little thicker or a little taller, but that's okay. Now once that's done, I can hit tab and go into object mode. And you can see now I have a nice, heavy, thick band with alternating heads all the way around it. That's one way to do this. There is some deformity caused to the model as you're doing this, but in this case, because we're going around a circle that's going to be a ring, that's actually perfect for what we want. So let me show you another way to do this. So now, for instance, if I want to take two objects and rotate them around, I can use Jewelcraft to do that same thing. It will, won't give me any deformity, but it will give me a different look. So if I use my, if I bring in my two heads, so let's grab this round head, and we will pen that again. And I'm going to grab the other square head. We'll pen that one again. And let's size these down to about like so. So they're both about the same size. Okay, so now what I could do is I can take this particular head, the round one, I can come over to Jewelcraft. With that round head selected, I'm going to hit SZ. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. We'll just make that tall like that one. Let's go here. SZ. We're going to grab that square one, make that just as tall. So with either one selected, I'm going to grab the round one. I'm going to hit the shift key, hold the shift key down, and grab the circle. Now I can come over to distribute on curve. And now you can see it's distributed that head all the way around the curve. Now I've got 10 there just the way I had it before. So let's do this one. Oh, let's see, we're gonna do that. Hold the shift key down, grab the, uh, we're gonna grab the circle, and I'm going to hit distribute on curve. And now I can play with the start and stop positions of the square head. Or oh, where is it? I want that right here, just like so. And then the ending position we'll put right like that. And you can see I can play with the sizes here using the sizing tool right like that. Gives me a little bit different look. Um, that's not so bad. I kind of like the way that looks. With that done, um, we can come over here, see our model, the way it's designed. And that's another way of doing it. This might be a little bit simpler way. Um, we don't modify any of the uh, heads or anything or your, your little models. So there's not going to be any deformity as there is with the curve modifier because the curve modifier likes to bend the object along the curve where Jewelcraft basically just places it on the curve. 
So that's two ways that you can do that. I hope this helps, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and go and practice this. It is fun to play with and you can get some seriously cool designs. Thanks for watching. Take care.